Uh, all good, Harry. Getting ready for what's so what six weeks away or less than six weeks for Cheltenham, by the way. Yeah, I'm getting ready for Sandown tomorrow, Alan. Oh, are you? Go on. Yeah, I'm at Sandown tomorrow. I've got at least uh, at least one run about to greatness. Uh, it's a big sixty-six to one shot in. So Red Hot uh, Red Hot chases in, you know, and uh, a Grade One. So it hopefully runs well, and I'm hoping that uh, I've got shake them up. Harry entered tomorrow, and I've got. A horse in the uh, in the in uh, the flat uh, bumper. What was um, that? What was that horse called? Keep away from yeah. party. Wake him up, Harry. Oh, sorry. Oh, shake <laughs> him up, Harry. Shake him up, Harry. <laughs> uh, does, up. does Sandra I'll, know I'll you got twenty-one horses now, Harry? Oh God, no, no, she doesn't. She's not listening, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> so, Harry, we get some big games. What about? Let's start with Everton against the Arsenal. Sean Dyche. has he got a chance, Harry? No, they're so Gordon. No money in. No new faces. How does he keep them up? He's got it all on. But I'm a big fan of Sean. You know, he's a great, great guy, and he's he's good at his job. And I don't know if anyone's going to do it. I think he could, you know, he, he, he'll he get them tough to beat for sure. He'll set them up and be hard to beat and he'll get every ounce of sweat that he can out of them players. And um, I wouldn't write them off. I still think they've got a chance, you know, but it's going to, he he'd probably, you know, going in there, he had the boy McNeil, who hasn't done well really at Everton, to be fair. And he had him at Burnley. Uh, Tarkovsky is another one of his players, you know, who's done okay at Everton. He'll go in there as well. So, yeah, listen, I hope he does it. Good luck to him. He's a good lad, sure. I'd like to see him succeed, but it's a, it is a tough job for sure. And tonight, Harry, uh, West London derby, looking forward to Chelsea playing Fulham now. We all know how much money Chelsea has spent and he, Graham Potter now has got to put a team together and get yeah. the right balance in there, which is going to be difficult. He's got to look at his players in the next few weeks and find out the best formation and well, how he can get the best out. But Fulham have been brilliant, haven't they, this season? Everybody Fulham thought. Done. Yeah, everybody Maybe. thought their struggle and, and, you know, the promoted team struggle. But Fulham have been absolutely different class. The way they play, the way they move the ball. Yeah. So it should be a good game tonight, Harry. Should be. I mean, the biggest problem he's got, Graham Potter, is when he goes in the dressing room, he won't know who they are. Mm. He'll be looking at them and he'll be going, who's this one here? What's his name? Who's that one? He'll be going to the coach. Who's that? What's his name? This geezer. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he probably, listen, I'm not being disrespectful. I mean, you know, he, but he he probably don't, he wouldn't even know after them are coming in who they are, where they're coming, you know. Yeah. He'd be, he, they've been bought in and given to him. And as he said yesterday, you know, he said, I'm the coach. Uh, my job now is to work with them, get the best out of them, find the best way to play and the, the best play, the players. But it, it looks like they've signed some real good players. Make no mistake. Say, you know, the boy last week who made his debut, the Ukrainian oh, boy. Oh, he looks yeah. a good player. The, the proper player. You know, yeah. the, the kid who's come in this week, the Argentinian lady. They're proper players. I mean, you know, he's got a great chance now to be a big, you know, to take Chelsea back to the top. It's going to be an interesting couple of years. How hard is it, Harry, when you've got a squad of players and you've got to try and keep everyone... You know, on oh. your side. I mean, how many players he got now? And he's got he's, he can only pick eleven every week. I know. And uh, that training ground uh, must be. You only you can fall out with players very quickly. No disrespect oh, to Brighton, but uh, the squad itself at Brighton compared to Chelsea, uh, you know, and he, he could manage that. But now he's got to manage a lot, a lot of <laughs> players and keep everybody They're happy. They're not going to accept it, Ray. They're not going to accept it. those that don't play, and he, they'll be bombed. And he'll say, "Listen, I'm going to put you on the bench today." They'll go, "No." I don't sit on the bench. I played in the World Cup final or whatever they've done. Yeah, yeah. I don't sit on the bench. No, no. And then he's going to have that. Come on, you know. And then I've had it. I've had it myself with uh, with a few players over the years. Now I don't sit. On, I'm not sitting on the bench. You know. Uh, and you, what do you say you to players then, Harry? What do you do? What do you say to players when they say, well, "I ain't sitting on the bench"? Is, is, well, I say, well, if you don't want to sit on the bench, kindly go home. In so many words. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah. now, what can you do? You stand there begging, telling them, "Look, come on, you know, it's part of the team." And blah blah blah. Ridiculous, blah. isn't it? Really, it's a squad you know, game now. They, they won't do it. They won't do it. In the end, they drive yourself mad. Look, if you don't, off you go. You know what can you do? But he's he, he's got a big problem, actually, as you say, a nice problem, probably, but a difficult problem with so many fantastic players here. Mm. Yeah, the lads here, the English lads, are they going to get? You know. They're going to get a game. Gallagher, where's he going to suddenly? He's not been in the team that regular. Yeah. He's in the England World Cup squad. 
now suddenly he's going to be, where do I get in this team, you know? Yeah. So, Harry, a big, big game. And I was amazed when I read the stats. Manchester City, they go to the new Tottenham Stadium. So you go back to 2019, Spurs 1-0 over City. February 2020, Tottenham 2-0 over City. November 2020, Tottenham 2-0 over City. August 21, Tottenham 1-0 City. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and I, I just can't work Spurs out at the moment, Harry. For me, they're so frustrating to watch, and yet they're up there. Yeah, yeah they're still bang there, Alan. Still got a great chance of making the top four. Um, you know, they played well enough the other week at Fulham, and they, as you say, they went to Man City and went two up. You know, at half time, looked like, you know, game over. Even then at 2 all when City came back, they missed a great chance, Tottenham, to go 3 2 up. So they've just got the Indians sign over Man City at the moment, Tottenham, and in most games, not just saying to set the last game away, but I think it'd be a tough game for Man City. Saturday, this weekend could be a big decider. I think, you know, I, I think Arsenal are going to take all the catching. They look fantastic. Well, I do, and yet all the so called good mm. judges say they can't win it. I don't see why they can't I, win I, it. I would think at, at 5 to 4 or on or 8 to 11, Alan, I, I think they're. A, I can't see them not winning it. I really can't. It's not like they're a team at the top and you think, well, they'll blow up. You know, we had that feeling with Leicester, perhaps, you know, mm. who did fantastic the year they won it, but we kept thinking, well, they can't win it, really. Tottenham went to Chelsea, yeah. the Battle of the Bridge, you remember that? Yeah. Last game. But you look at you look at this team, this Arsenal team, it's, it's a fantastically well-balanced team, great players. They just look the, the real deal. I can't see them, and, you know, they've added to it this week. I just think they did. They, they, I can't see them not winning it this year. And I think Man City will end up, Probably, you know, their main, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be concentrating Champions League is what they they want to win this year. I think the champion, the league title could slip away quite easily. It could wow. slip away this weekend. Another a good game to, uh, this weekend, Harry. Newcastle take on West Ham. West Ham desperately needed that result last week yeah. against Everton. That was a big, big three points for David Moyes. But Newcastle, another team uh, who, who've done brilliant this season, haven't they? And they're in the Carabao yeah. Cup final now, which everybody will be looking forward to watching that one. Manchester United, great game that would be. But Newcastle being absolutely brilliant. Can they keep it going, do you think? Yeah, I mean, what isn't it great for the club, though? Al? You lads have been there enough times. I mean, what a football club, Newcastle. Yeah. Them supporters, you know, they're amazing, aren't they? The, the support they get up there, they live for their football club and they deserve some success. So it's great to see them get to a final. And it, I think it'll be the first of many. You know, it is done mm. an amazing job there, Eddie Howe and he, Jason Tindall and all the staff there. They've been brilliant. So I think it's just, you know, there's only one way Newcastle going, that is on, they're on the up and up. Um, and it's going to be some great years ahead, I think, for Newcastle. Absolutely. Harry, just finally, were you tempted to head over to Dublin this weekend for the festival? Great racing. Oh, amazing racing. I'll be watching. No, but I'm, as I say, I'm off to Sandown tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. A game of golf today. It's a tough weekend, really, I've got coming up. You know? <laughs> where, where are you playing golf, Harry? Where are you playing? Ferndown today at Ferndown. We have a roll-up. I actually won it the other day. Is that the Dormy? Is it the Dormy? Which which shows you how bad the other three geezers must have been that I played with. <laughs> I think Bobby Robson took us there once. Down is, is, yeah, he would have done. At yeah. the Dormy, I played That's Derek Silk. That's at the Dormy, yes. Derek Silk, good friend of mine, used to run the Dormy, look after all the football teams. Derek plays in the roll-up that I play in. You know, it's, it's normally about 12, 16 of us or whatever, and we throw the balls up and have a game. We play a fiver ahead. And, uh, yeah, it's a good day. What are you I playing off now, Harry? How you, what's your handicap these days? <laughs> it's, it's, Does it well, change when you're playing for money? Or, 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 or? Um, oh, 16. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting any better. What, plus fat? Is sure. that plus fat? Or? <laughs> I've never, 16, I've never, Razor I'm on his backside. Any, no chance. <laughs> I love it. I enjoy it. How's Jamie playing? Because he's playing well, isn't he? He's a good player, he's Jamie. He's playing a bit. Yeah, I'm definitely not as good as Gareth no. Bell. I saw his swing on the TV last night. It's nothing like mine. Well, he no, done his, he done his wrist and his hamstring that, that shot off the road, didn't he? But what a shot that <laughs> no. was. Oh, he's injured, isn't he? <laughs> I'm only kidding, Harry. I'm only kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. Harry, have a great weekend. Cheers, Harry. Great Cheers. Good luck today, mate. Uh, Harry read that. Brewing, 16 after 8. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.